talk a bit about the role that uh, technology and digital plays. I, there's a lot of what you just described at the top line of, of what the organization does that has a real physical element to it. But naturally, there's a tremendous amount of knowledge and information behind all of that. I can only imagine that the the digital and technology uh, aspects of, of what goes into the development of all that you described is pretty profound. Take a moment to describe that if you would. Yeah, um, I will say that that uh, probably as much as any company I've been a part of, um, you know, Michael, our CEO, and the board of the management team are incredibly um, advanced in their thinking on on what role technology and digital should play in in advancing the agenda for the corporation. Uh, we talk about uh, ultimately our, our mission of um, you know accelerating the speed of science um, and and the the role that digital has to play in that from integrating the supply chain to using data uh, for scientific research um, to integrating all the assets we have within our organization. So um, we were one of the largest mergers um, of two companies, the former Avantor and the former BWR in 2017, both of which were very acquisitive organizations um, and uh, had a tremendous asset base of companies that were acquired. And part of what we're doing is is integrating those assets uh, for for utilization across our customer base. Um, so we do a, a truly integrated operating model. Uh, we run, you know, a significant majority of our of our business through e-commerce right now. So north of of seventy percent of our business. So that's a very tangible example of of uh, you mentioned uh, north of six billion dollars. How we run our revenue through. Uh, but integrated supply chain all the way through uh, the, the suppliers. So um, really, really committed to, to both um, technology for our customers. So inventory management platforms, uh, e-commerce platforms, equipment management platforms for our customers, uh, all the way through uh, how we operate internally as a, a globally integrated uh, company. I want to stick with that point that you mentioned twice there, the integrated uh, supply chain. You've mentioned uh, when we've spoken previously that the barriers between customers and suppliers are fading. Uh, talk a bit about the that, that topic a little bit more and its implications on your business. Yeah, it's, it's a topic I'm, I'm super passionate about. I, I th- if we think or if I think historically, you know, everyone used to look to optimize the supply chain within the four walls of the organization and then you had more point-to-point connectivity with suppliers back downstream and customers upstream. Now, um, really, the goal is how do I have my customers feel like they're part of my organization? How do I have my suppliers feel like they're par- part of my organization and, and have a truly integrated supply chain, whether it's for inventory visibility, whether it's for co-innovation, which we do a tremendous amount of with our customers and I think the most natural example of that, honestly, is the speed at which these COVID vaccines were developed. Never in the history of science has anything moved this quickly. That only happened because of how the entire supply chain worked together. Um, and so I, I think we've set the new standard. I don't think this is a one-off um, just because, I, you know, in my air quotes, that, that it was a global pandemic. I think this is the expectation for how science is going to move in the future. We've proven it can happen, um, and it happens because of the supply chain working together. 